Hello everyone and uh, I am Dr. Vaishnavi, your ENT educator on the Unacademy platform and with me I have Dr. Piyush uh, who scored a wonderful rank of 42, an amazing rank coming from a tier 2 city of Surat. This guy has made it to the top with his uh, ambition which is great and he had his determination that he wanted to reach it reach the top 100 and after two successful you know two unsuccessful years actually he could make it and uh, we will take his journey forward from here and i have uh, the star himself right now with me dr piyush so over to you dr piyush uh, so hi i'm uh, dr piyush koshya and uh, i'm from surat civil hospital uh, Garwal medical college surat uh, i'm uh, i'm the students of 2015 batch uh, actually, my, I completed my internship in 2021, and uh, my my was my first NEET attempt was in NEET 2021, and uh, now it's uh, 2023 uh, NEETs, and I secured the All India Rank uh, 42. Uh, I uh, uh, in NEET 2021, my rank was uh, 2890. Okay. It was yes, it was quite a good rank, but uh, I go further uh, 2023, and it's uh, my, my 42 rank. Okay, but that's an amazing leap to transform from 2000, whatever odd rank to being in the top 100. I think that yeah. uh, the leap that you took, the jump that you took is excellent. And uh, I think you definitely deserve a round of applause from all our uh, people who are watching. And uh, you should definitely feel on top of the world for having put so many efforts and having shined like a star. So uh, let me ask you very few, like a very quick questions on how were you during your MBBS day? Like, were you an average student or were you the topper of your college or did you earn so many gold medals? Like, how were you in your college days? Uh, I don't earn any gold medal, but yes, I am a topper. But uh, in my college, I am topper, but not from university. Okay. So it's just kind of I'm within all top 20, to, top 20 students of my age. Okay. Uh, because I usually prefer to uh, go through the textbooks. Uh, so look, my goal is what a neat rank, a good rank. Hmm. But for it, I believe that I should concept, uh, I should clear my call concept. Hmm. And so I, look, I believe, I personally believe that I should go with the uh, all all the standard textbooks. So I in in the four year of my MBBS, I usually gone through the old textbooks. Uh, not but I, mean, look, I I not just read the important topics for pass my exam. I even read all non non important topics also. To okay. clear my concept whenever i got query i just open the youtubes and yes just an academy and some other source i can clear my doubts that's amazing to know that you have done the the right thing right and uh, sticking to your textbook i think is something that everyone has to do because uh, ultimately everyone has to know your standard textbook and your standard concepts and uh, uh, and that is the prime base or foundation of your preparation and i think that is something that you did absolutely right and uh, along with that you utilized what you have in the current situation of numerous uh, you know videos that are running on the youtube numerous apps like an academy that is giving you free uh, information also on the special classes so i think this is something that uh, you know people who, who i mean who think that always we have to stick to this stick to that i think your strategy is different and this is something that i uh, you know endorse for that please stick to your standard textbook that is that should be your primary source of information but yes if you don't understand something don't uh, you know feel uh, feel bad that you're not able to seek help so seek help from your educators from various platforms so i think that that way you have done the best thing for uh, yourself and i think that's the best message that the students can get also uh okay so when did you start preparing first year se hi start hua tha preparation ya fir you thought that ki na internship ke baad karenge like kaise strategize kiya preparation ko see i i look uh, i feel like uh, for for securing a good rank i should go with the textbook so i basically i start with the uh, after the second year basically mm -hmm. i start after the second year but uh, for prop, uh, gone through proper notes for the uh, for targeting the neat PG, so that we can revise uh, uh, in in a short and crisp manner. Uh, that uh, that portion I start from the January 2020. So notes, uh, when the, when the, the, the when you were doing the prof, you were doing the notes simultaneously for your neat, or did you do separately notes in your internship and post internship period? Uh, your no, notes. No. How did you do that? No, uh, before starting my internship, I have my notes. 
uh, after starting in the day, I have only gone through these knots. That is amazing. So I think, uh, you know, keeping your uh, materials ready for your examination is the prime yeah, yeah. foundation. And if your materials are not ready, you're already lagging uh, in your uh, race. Yeah, and I, I think that during the entire four and a half years of your journey that you're there in your MBBS, keep your resources ready when you're studying, keep your notes or the book ready that you're going to revise after four and a half years for that particular subject and when you're appearing for need. So I think that is another very important message that you're giving to the learners that make your own notes do not rely too much onto your friends or xyz or whatever yeah. make your own notes because you can notes yourself in your own way you can get a little bit of understanding you can get a little bit of but making your own notes is very important how did you go about the test like how did you attempt how many tests what would you do how did you attempt how would you analyze what you're doing is right or wrong yeah uh, I'm actually my, 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 my first GT is a uh... Around in, in the fifth month, in the May 2020. And the first my GT was uh, uh, exact uh, marks. Uh, I don't remember the exact marks, but yes, the correct question was 154. Mm -hmm. And that GT was uh, around 300 questions. Okay. 300, uh, 150 correct after, uh, out of 300 ones. At okay. that time, that is a 300 type uh, mm -hmm. and, uh, uh, and then after that uh, two GTs, there was a one NEET uh, 2020 recall is there. Hmm. And uh, in in that uh, I secured I correct uh, around one ninety cash out okay. of three hundred. Okay. Yeah, and then and then I I feel that uh, I should give GT because if I good I I give GT I personally believe that I develop a subconscious reflex to rule out the four option by itself. Hmm. So now I have to decide only of the of only out of the two uh, two options. Hmm. So then uh, 50, 50, 50, 50 to mil gaya mujhe. Hmm. So, select uh, easily and uh, after that giving the GT, I usually uh, feel that uh, we I I should go with the, all the th 300 question because mm -hmm. sometimes it got happen like I uh, correct the question but in a wrong manner like I correct question but in my approach is wrong so mm -hmm. my, when my approach is wrong then if the in exam in actual exam if the question is uh, like uh, confusing question is there controversial question is there then my answer will be wrong so i personally believe that we should go through the explanation by itself and all the 300 all the 300 or 200 mcq we should go thorough explanation Okay, so I think again, a very important message for all those who are listening that, uh, you know, when you're doing a test, when you're doing GTs, number one, you develop a subconscious reflex, like he said, that, you know, when you're doing more and more questions, your brain subconsciously over time develops a reflex to answer some things right, some things wrong to rule out. So all this happens and this happens only with practice. Number two, I think you said you tracked your journey and from 150 to 190 and then improving your score, you are yeah. somehow understanding that you're going on the right path and you're improving yourself number three i think these mock tests and gts will help you in the final examination to get that confidence that when you're attempting yeah. this question you know your approach like you said that i knew what i'm approaching my approach is right or wrong because you've already done that in the prior mock test so now in your exam you're feeling more confident that i am able what i'm doing is right or what i'm able to do doing wrong that clarity is there in your head very much so i think this is a very important point that people usually usually take GTs, then they see their score, then they get disheartened. Just say you said 300 by 150. People can get disheartened at times and then they'll feel that I don't want to give GTs. That that's actually making my score bad. I don't want to see. I'll go and give final exam. But I think giving that uh, and taking that whole process of improvising yourself is the way that will fetch you. I mean, that is going to fetch you much better marks in your final exams. Mm -hmm. So, did yes. you ever feel that you are from a second tier city? Mein bade bade national colleges se nahi so, can I do it? Like this sort of a fear, did you ever have in your mind? Yeah, the fear, fear is like, yes, all, all having the fear is there. But we have to control ourselves. When you overcome your fear, you can do anything. How did so you, you overcome to your fear? Like, what was, what was that driving yeah, force or I'm, what? what what did, how did you do that? I mean, I mean, I mean, motivational quotes bole karta tha. Like, uh, one of the quotes I remember, like uh, from Bhagavad Gita, it is, uh, uh, man ko, man ka banna hai. Hame, man ko apna we have to make, uh, we have to be master of our mind. Correct. If we can control our mind, we can 
uh, we can uh, control our anxiety also. And if we control our anxiety, we can avoid the all silly mistakes. The silly mistake, who is the culprit for falling our rank? Mm. Because we, we control the silly mistake, we can, yeah, if you control your silly mistake, you cannot improve your rank. But yes, you can stabilize your rank. टिवेशन दैट यू डिड एंड दैट यू ग्रू यू एज एन इंडिविजुअल एज अ स्ट्रॉगर पर्सन दैट आगे कोई भी चैलेंज हो मैं कर लूंगा ये आपको पता चल गया so i think that yes. message that you're giving to people that you know motivate yourself tell your mind that listen to what uh, you know don't just fall prey to it and control your mind don't fall for that anxiety don't fall for that fear and conquer that fear is what you're telling to the learners yes. and i think that's an excellent uh, message for all the people who are listening okay then uh, how many questions did you attempt in your examination uh means in gt is yeah, or on final exam no no final final need to make it an attempt here yeah in, in final exam i attempt 198 <coughs> question and two two question i skip hmm. i usually matlab uh, before exam i i matlab main level before exam main khud se decide karke hi jata tha ki yaar uh, out of 200 i i have to attempt 197 hmm three question i will left but this time i have some confident and one question i attempted so two is left 198 is attempted so whenever you feels like uh, the like, the chance of the uh, question getting incorrect is more than 50% don't attempt it but if you feel 50% chance is there you should attempt because the negative mark is only 25% which is far less than our inicet exam mm. so for the net pg you have to attempt minimum question of 190 and when you feel it's 50% chance always do always attempt that question okay so how do you think an academy helped you in any way like you know through your journey so far like how did an academy help you yeah i let uh, all that youtube free video i uh, it is much helpful for my uh, during my uh, uh, four year mbbs preparation and at the time of the neat pg examination jainab ma'am uh, that dtr puri tarah ratta marna hai wo wala portion fir nikita ma'am sir Uh, mnemonics and all that uh, question question answer series like uh, uh, around uh, uh, 130 minutes one hour and 30 minutes ke jo videos aate the bahut help kiya matlab question answering mein apne ko approach pata chalta hai hmm. na to galat approach hum to yu hi apan kaat dete hai ki nahi ye concept utna galat hai to sahi concept pakdo aur usse mcq correct karo hmm okay so it's nice matlab jo log skip karte we don't have resources we don't have uh, you know this and that i think there is so much available in today's time that uh, even for free there is lot available and you can make the most out of it so i think that is also a very important message to all of our learners that uh, don't think of the negatives in life think of the positives and uh, just take your foot forward and keep growing okay so what does this victory mean to you kya kya matlab you are dreaming of this all this time ya kya matlab iska kya essence hai aapke life mein at the time of preparation i usually place myself in a simulation of this kind of interviews okay <laughs> in my free time okay because i i matlab i believe that i have to do this dusron ko dikhane ke liye to mujhe hi karna hi hai mujhe khud ke liye bhi karna hai hmm isliye matlab i will so i put my simulations in some, in some kind of in, interviews in my minds hmm. that can uh, yes uh, give me confidence also so it's this kind of i think dreaming is the first step that uh, yeah. that is uh, there for your preparation and finally when it turns into reality it's a completion of your dream so you think everybody yeah, should yeah. Uh, you know dream high and dream big and work for it to achieve their success yeah, yeah, yeah. in okay. my gujarati there is a one one uh, कहवत मतलब उसको मतलब वर्ब है कि इफ इफ यू कैन नॉट अटेन अचीव द हाई थिंग बट यू हैव एट लीस्ट ड्रीम द हाई थिंग हम्म इफ यू ड्रीम लो थिंग यू कैन नॉट अचीव हाई थिंग 
करेक्ट करेक्ट आई एग्री विथ यू ऑन दिस ओके सो व्हाट इज योर नेक्स्ट स्टेप फॉरवर्ड क्या करना चाहते हो लाइफ में वी आगे आई थिंक अबाउट एमडी रेडियो नॉट डिसाइडेड द एग्जैक्ट कॉलेज इज देयर बट यस सो द ब्रांच इज फिक्स माय रेडियो ओके सो यू प्लानिंग टू अपीयर फॉर आई नेक्स्ट नेक्स्ट या आई विल अपीयर बिकॉज़ इफ आई गेट मतलब देयर आर वेरी लेस चांस बट आई आई शुड ट्राई I will try. Okay. Uh, for getting within one twenty rank. Okay. That one to twenty. Who would you like to dedicate getting... your success to? ये किसको dedicate करना चाहोगे अपना success? Yeah, this I is the stage, right? Yes, so you yes, have yes. to tell. Yeah. I I dedicate uh, this success to my families especially. Uh, they are well supported families always, and uh, whatever I want, they they are give me at any time. Hmm. And yes, some of my friends and uh, one of my senior. in in between i left my preparation and i want to just give up but uh, one of the senior i want to take name of the senior dr tushar ahir uh, he says that ki tujhe tujh pe bharosa nahi par mujhe tujh pe bharosa hai they look mm-hmm. like uh, don't waste your knowledge ha na mm-hmm. so i uh, again start my preparation and this yes i got 42 rank and uh, my friends also some fmg students some neat pg students all are supported me support very very good whenever whenever i feel low i call them one of my best friend was dr hiran chandegra i just talk to them always and every day and yes he was motivated me for doing a great thing. so i think achhi company hona utni hi zaruri hai in your growth yeah, yeah, yeah. and people who trust you who put confidence in you faith in you will always help and you know people who are talking negative ki nahi ho payega chhod do kya karenge dusra kuch dekh lenge i think that is something yeah. people should refrain from matlab achhi company mein raho acha socho acha uh, taiyari karo automatically things will go in your favor yes so it was amazing talking to you dr piyush uh, you would like to give one last piece of advice matlab sabko pata hai ki gts karna hai sabko pata hai ki resources kya kya hai sabko pata hai ki kahan se kya karna hai but what is that one small thing that you think will make a difference kyunki aapne do bar hi attempt kiya hai to you know that what is that difference that will change yeah. your rank so what do you think is that one piece of advice that you would give to your learners uh, in my first attempt i don't uh, do any pyq but yes mm-hmm. uh one the pyq was done once time and one attempt of my neat pg 2021 i feels that uh what is the uh, look, the nb board was not asking that uh, that too much uh, difficult question uh, so after doing that pyq uh, i came on time uh, on the decision that what uh, topic i should uh, focus and what should i what topic i should leave mm-hmm. so uh i want to give advice that one single simple thing that do the pyq and find out the topic who are the important if if the topic is not important only read and just one time revise not much mm-hmm. time revise because mm-hmm. it's not important on why you waste your time mm-hmm. so go with that uh, pyq topic is must okay and inicet is very uh, very based on the pyq topic itself mm-hmm. the uh, this exam is uh, every time it's repeat the pyq topic by itself and now this time the uh, in uh, some two to uh, uh, last two to three neat it's uh, the now the neat nb board is also run on the track of the pyqs mm-hmm. so go with the pyq find out the topics who are the important topics go with that multiple revision and don't go with that, that difficult question and then uh, confusing question first con- uh, first clear your basics go with the uh, simple one question if you if you doing great with that one then your silly mistake will be stopped and your rank will be stabilized and then go improve your rank hmm i think again that's and, uh, very nice piece of advice ki na kya karna chahiye and i think that's yes. uh, very good for the uh, for those people who never knew about it ki kya karna chahiye and i think this piece of advice will probably change their uh, uh, approach to the examination forward so yeah so we had uh, dr piyush with us uh, a excellent human being an excellent uh, student who transformed his own life motivated himself giving so many lessons to his juniors and i think life is like a circle that i am sitting here you are there and my cousin happens to be your uh, your professor in the college so i think without knowing so many connections do exist in this world because uh, universe is like that so i think we all should put our faith in the universe do our best to our uh, put our efforts at the maximum and i think results are just you know going to come your way 
So I think with this, we'll uh, take a leave. And it was wonderful talking to you, Dr. Piyush, and uh, hearty congratulations from we at an academy. And we're very, very proud of you and your achievements. We'd like to know further what happens in your life. And please do stay in touch so that we know that where you are today. And we would definitely like to be a part of your journey. Even if it is non-academic, we're always there for you. Thank you. Yeah. So take care and bye-bye. Thank you. Bye.